Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and if you're new to watching the channel, I do welcome you and I hope you consider subscribing and thank you to all of my returning subscribers for coming back and for your continued support. So today I will be sharing my sewing plans for October. So if you are interested in hearing all about my sewing plans for this month, please continue to watch. <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump on in with these sewing plans. I really, really, really had to sit back and make sure that all of the plans I had were like realistic because I have been so up and down with health and I don't want to like overextend myself, but I put plans together that I'm getting ready to share with you. And I think I achieved the realistic goal along with being able to fulfill my desire to sew at the same time. And I will go ahead and share those plans with you now. So during this month, I have two collaborations. One of the collaborations is with Valencia of 85th and Wade, and that is her tag on Instagram and here on YouTube. And Valencia is hosting a challenge title so so romp jump play 22 and the challenge started on September 25th and it runs through October 26th. Uh, Valencia decided to host this challenge due to her love of jumpsuits and in honor of National Jumpsuit Day. So if you would like to participate all you have to do is sew a romper or a jumpsuit or a play suit or a boiler suit or overalls between September 25th, which has already passed, and October 26th. Uh, the garment must be for an adult. You need to tag 85th and Wade and use the hashtag SoRumpPlay22 and post no later than October 26th. If you want to give sneak peeks of your contribution for the challenge, you can use the hashtag SoRumpJumpPlayPeak. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be my first contribution I believe or I don't know if it'll be my first but that's one of the contributions for this month now, now on to what I plan to make for the challenge now I'm not gonna sit here in front and act like I have it all mapped out I'm not even going to try to front I am so torn as to which pattern I want to use so I'm going to make this a viewer's choice okay my friend Andra of Andra Makes does this on her channel and I think it is so fun and since I can't make up my mind I'm going to implement that here for this first plan okay so for the challenge I kind of want to make a jumpsuit but at the same time I want to make some adult pant overall so this is where you all can help me out with your suggestions so you know when you hear what I come up with go ahead and leave your suggestions in the comment section below because I need to start on this very soon no later than next week but I will show you the three different patterns that I am deciding on or undecided I should say on so for the overall choice, I really like Simplicity 9590 and I'll put that up in the screen here because as I've said in previous videos, when I put my patterns up to the camera, it just goes dark and I don't like that. So anyway, I really like Simplicity 9590. This is a newer pattern that Simplicity has out and I picked that up after I made my McCall's overalls. Uh, I made a McCall's overall dress and I absolutely loved it and I did that for a different collaboration. I'm sure this pattern is very similar to how I made the other one so it would be pretty easy and I know I would really really love it at the same time and I would make the like the longest view not the crop view if I decide to to make that or if you vote for me to make that. And as far as the fabric, I would just use the blue denim because I don't have any overalls. Most uh, overalls are like denim or something like that or some kind of twill or whatever. So I will go with the denim because I think that would be so cute. And as far as the jumpsuit patterns, the first pattern that I want to share with you is a more casual jumpsuit, which is Butterick 6600. And honestly, this is just a great pattern overall because you can sew the entire pattern and have so many different fabulous looks because it's a lifestyle pattern through butter rig but anyway 
back to the jumpsuit i really love the look of this jumpsuit that this pattern offers i like how relaxed it is it's just nice and i know that i would get a lot of wear out of this style and it just looks so comfortable like i can see myself putting it on every single day for this view it calls for stretch knit fabric and i don't have enough knit and my stash that is thick enough for fall and winter so i would have to go and purchase fabric for this but i have already found some fabric that i have been eyeballing i just haven't purchased it yet because i want to make sure that i'm actually going to use it right away before i make the purchase because it's not like i have a lot of room for extra fabric right <laughs> so yeah it's at joanne fabrics and if i can get into joanne's before i publish this video i will take you on a sneak peek <laughs> so for the buttery jumpsuit the more casual one i can't remember the um i can't remember the number off the top of my head but i really like this camo fabric right here This right here is nice too, and this is a waffle knit. You can see the texture. This is just a, um, I think it's more like a poly, um, double brush poly right here for that first one. So I don't like either of the, those. And I think those two are the only ones that are like thick enough for the fall and winter months here where I live but this one's nice I just don't think it would be thick enough but yeah basically between these two the other jumpsuit that I'm thinking of making is Butterick 6522. This is such a gorgeous jumpsuit and it's more on the dressy side of fashion. I would still get plenty of wear out of this because I like to wear these types of things to work in church. So I mean basically this is how I dress for work in church so I would definitely get use out of this. I have so many different crepe fabrics in my sash that would allow me to make this without having the fabric shop either which is also a uh, bonus <laughs> um but yeah i would definitely have plenty of options for this so please 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 <laughs> let me know in the comment section below which pattern you think i should sew for this challenge and why maybe <laughs> and yeah like i said i want to get started on this by next week so please let me know So for my next collaboration, I plan to collaborate with Renata of the Twilight Stitcher. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell the pattern that we're going to use. So um, I guess I should keep that to myself because I know like she likes to do like sneak peeks until like the reveal of collaborations or whatever. But I will tell you that it's a new simplicity pattern, a new simplicity fall pattern. And when I saw that pattern, I loved it immediately. And I've been so anxious to get my hands on the sewing machine with this pattern and make it up. So I'm so super excited for this collaboration. And I hope that the project doesn't disappoint since I'm so excited about making it. <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this collaboration is set to be published on Sunday, October 30th. So the last Sunday of the month. So please look for that. All right. So for my next plan, this plan is a UFO. Last month, I shared in my plans video that So Your View on Instagram picked out Simplicity 9388 to make as the monthly challenge. And I plan to make it and started on it. But because of how i keep getting sick i have not finished mine so i just need to finish that up and share it so that everyone you know can see it so you should see that soon but it is a shacket and i'll insert a clip of the fabric that i'm going to be using for this project or that i am using for this project which is a plaid flannel from the platitude brand line from joanne fabrics and then this next plan, which is something that I will probably do on this very day of filming, I want to make a couple of fall placemats. When the fall and winter seasons come around, I really love to do like 
decor projects for the holidays because I just love looking at things that remind me of the holidays because I'm a holiday girl. <laughs> I just love it. So I've used Simplicity 9397 to make table runners last year and I'm going to go ahead and use that same pattern to make the placemats that I want to make. I only want a couple so it won't take me much time but i do want uh to try to quilt it i have not quilted any type of thing before and i i think it would give it a nice little extra touch and so i'm going to do that and i have picked up some fabric from joy and fabrics that i think would be fabulous for it so yes 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 these are my plans and i think they are very attainable so i should get everything done in a timely fashion and not have to feel rushed and please let me know what your thoughts are about my plans in the comment section below as always i love to hear your thoughts and please don't forget to let me know which pattern I should make for the So Rump Jump 22 challenge, the jumpsuits, one of the jumpsuits or the overalls. Let me know, um, should I make the overalls or the jumpsuits? One of them. <laughs> I am now getting ready to close out this video and you know what I'm getting ready to say. Please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos thank you so much for taking out time from your day to watch this video thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i will see you in the next one bye oh. Oh.